what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk guys you know I love my brother T.I. and you know him standing up for brother Kevin Samuels and you know black men I really really appreciate our brother now, I know I have roasted him in the past for some of the stupid things that he says, but T.I. is my brother. He is our brother uh, family, and I really, really appreciate him for his knowledge on some of these issues. But what he has done is pose a question for many of us who do understand that as black people in America, we have been robbed of many, many things. Uh, we've been robbed of uh, certain communities. We have been oppressed. And of course, racism has played its chorus. Now, obviously, with the uh, advent of the KKK as an organization, we know that we have been terrorized by them systematically for many years. And with re the RICO cases being handed out to Young Thug and Gunner and them being indicted, T.I. asked the question, why hasn't the KKK been hit with the RICO? OK, and this is not. You know, as as weird as you may sound, or, or, or it seems because there are people who um, have published articles like Cherry Biogracias, which details how the RICO Act should be used to systematically investigate and prosecute white supremacist groups like the KKK. And I, I, I cannot argue that. OK, I wouldn't have any issue with that. But again, I believe we're kind of getting to like Shannon Sharp politics, which is, you know, arguing black on black crime. Well, if, you know, a white officer kills a black man, he gets off. But if a black man and a black man kills each other, he goes to jail. In either case, what we are dealing with is that a black man has been killed. And why was the black man killed from our community? As far as us doing because both situations are wrong but one of the things that we fail to do in black america is understand if our people are not guilty or if they are guilty because if we say well our people get here with rico we're not even asking did he do it we're not asking is there a crime being punished we're asking well what about the kkk and and, and one of the things that we have to do to bring accountability to our community as African Americans is somehow we have to attempt to clean up our own people. It can be hard because of the rules won't let you really do it like you can in other countries. But that's the, that's that's the point. Because if there's any truth to young gunner and uh th this brother young thug, right now they would be doing more damage to the black community than the KKK. I don't think there's anybody doing more damage right now to black America more than black people. Now, yes, you have the racist mindset that makes us hate each other. And I get that, but they're not the ones pulling the trigger. That's our people pulling the trigger. They're not the ones you walk out and you're afraid of running into at nighttime. That's our people. And so every time the, uh, a white person does something, we're asking our people, well, what about them? Instead of understanding that it's their country. We are a stranger, you know, we're, 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 we're a stranger on strange soil. We're on borrowed time on a stranger soil. We are singing in a strange land. And, and we got to stop. We got to look at that. They're the majority of the population. And until we obtain some sort of power to be able to do those things, we can keep making these questions all we want. And it's not going to be to any avail. And we keep having this black and back, uh, these kind of Shannon Sharp politics going back and forth, and it doesn't make any sense. The, the question is, did Young Gunner, or Young Thug and Gunner, do what they did outside of what's going on with the white supremacy? Because the best way to fight white supremacy is to clean up your own group. The best way to fight white supremacy is to provide opportunities from your own group. The best way to take care of your black people is to work with the people in your own group is to figure out solutions for the black world is to 
Put your people in the best situation to figure out situations and bring resources to your community, to teach your people. That is your job. And once I take my focus on that and not worried about, well, why didn't the KKK get this stuff? Because see, the thing, the situation is this. If the KKK starts getting charges of hate group, well, the white man don't, don't care. His job has already been done. He don't care about those few dudes who are in those racist organizations. He'll put them in jail and lock them up and, and, and fry them if he needs to. He don't, the system don't care. They will, they will, they will sacrifice those dudes. If, if, if they are guilty of that, man, they'll convict all those guys. Send them to jail, whatever they got to do. Your situation still won't change. And we'll be sitting back celebrating, but will it change for you? And that's what we really need. Our conversations have to be fixed around the idea that we want our situations to change. Because them locking up white supremacists and charging them as a hate group, you still gonna have the same black community crime in your neighborhood. Because Pookies and Ray Rays will be rejoicing while they go up there and shoot up the block. And your people are still gonna be suffering. Our people are still gonna be suffering. Our kids are still gonna be suffering. Are we bringing change to our situation or not? And we have to talk about things intelligently. And some people don't like that. We got to get away from, you know, us refusing to hold our people accountable for, okay, they're selling drugs. Well, why? And I know what we're going to say, well, the white man brought it over there and these guns over in our community. I, I, I get that. I won't argue with it, but we have successful blacks who don't do that. Why don't we have the business in our community with all the opportunities that we have, that we're not creating money and opportunities for our people to take care of that because that actually takes work, right? It takes time. It takes day in and day out working with your people. See, that's what we're trying to avoid. Black people in America, sometimes we are trying to avoid the process and you can't avoid the process. We have to really stop playing around and hit these problems head on. These problems have to be met head on. We're trying to run from them or, or, or run uh, uh, side to side, or we're trying to dodge them. We're trying to beat around the bush. There's only one way to deal with this, and that is meeting it head on. Dealing with our communities where we are, dealing with our women where they are, our kids, good or bad, where they are, and meet it where it's at. All of this other stuff, what about the white man? What about the blue man? What about the orange man? We're not gonna meet those problems and it's never gonna be fixed until you fix your problems. There used to be a, 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 a character in elementary schools across the countries in the 80s. His name was Smokey the Bear. And he says, only you can prevent forest fires. Only you can change what's going on in your life and in your community, nobody else. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again, another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I already appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell, check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains an all time high. I'm out.